Let me see. I want to look really quickly. Are you guys, like, you're all missing? Yeah. You have your perfect link. All right, so we got at least three people to get perfect links on here. As long as we can get, like, five or six perfect links in this episode, I'll be happy. That's really what I'm looking for. But ideally, I'd like more than that, of course. All right. Take... Take one of the Ghastlies, I guess. Call in reinforcements. And then, uh... Well, no, I should bring in that sand dial, actually. So do that. And then all three of these. There we go. Which field is Spectra's? Spectra's is the one with the purple fire that moves around and does status effects. And it has all the mischievous statues that move every turn. And it's really, really annoying because, first of all, the purple flames are annoying on their own. But also, it's really annoying because it just takes years to go through. Do you have an idea for how many standard warriors are left for Perfect Link? No, I don't. I meant to... I woke up late today because I stayed up late too late last night. So I actually meant to try and double check it all tonight. Or, I mean, this morning before stream, but I didn't have time. But if I had to wager a guess, we got to be around, like, 60 to 70 left. It can't be too many more than that, because I've gotten a lot of perfect links. I feel like, at least. I will definitely figure out how many perfect links are left before the next stream. Before next Saturday, basically. In fact, honestly, tonight, I might spend some time tonight... Because I need to, I need to double check through my save data, like because I need to go to the gallery and look at which ones have perfect links, and match it up with my list. Because I think my my spreadsheet that has them all listed, I think it might be a little inaccurate. I think it's off by a few of them, so I need to like double check it and make sure it's right. I'm probably gonna crack shot to ensure I kill this Dratini. don't remember Spectra being that bad. I absolutely hate Spectra. It's really annoying to move around in it, and uh, the status effects get really old after a while, and also, it's just like, they move the flames and the mischievous statues at the end of every single turn, so it's just so many animations to sit through for a really long while. Yes, I'm 100%ing the Pokemon Gallery, yeah. That one I'm not too worried about, because that's mostly just a matter of, like, getting all of the... Like, once everyone has a perfect link, I'll have had an excuse to get everyone... I should have crack-shotted. Why didn't I? Whatever. I got lucky anyway. Yeah, you can also just get super unlucky with statuses and mischievous statues moving to completely, like, trap you, and then it's... It's just annoying, basically. Spectra is just a map full of being annoying. But 100%ing uh, the Pokemon Gallery shouldn't be that bad, especially because I already have Dragonite. Like, the next really annoying one to get in the Pokemon Gallery is, like, Garchomp. After we get, like, Garchomp and Snorlax in the Pokemon Gallery, most of the difficult ones are done. Everything else will be pretty easy. These Zubat are about to be really annoying. Do I not have T-Tar yet? I guess I don't have T-Tar yet either. I don't think I've gotten... Have I gotten anyone with a perfect link on T-Tar? Yeah, so it's like T-Tar, Garchomp, Snorlax. We'll get Hydreigon when we do Nobunaga's episode. I already did... Uh, I already went through the trouble of doing... Um, what's his face? I did Nobunaga's. Or not Nobunaga's. I did, uh, I did Dragonite is what I meant to say. Annoying Zubat. Yeah. Who could have guessed? I killed like 48 Ghastlies right there. All right, I want to drag the Zubats over here to Gengar. Because Riolu and Venipede aren't going to do crap to them. I should have taken into account those Zubats before I sent my Fire-type and my Dragon-type off the other way. I should have sent, like... I should have only sent Axu on the jump, and I should have left, uh, Simiseer over here. There are, in fact, no more Ghastly left in the world. It was worth it. Alright, 
we should have this next turn. What on earth was that guy's name? Like Kashi no Jiba or something? That was a long name. I mean, a lot of Japanese names are just really long, but still. Alright. If that Zubat stays down there, I'll kill it with Gengar. If it comes up here, I'll kill it with the uh, Aksu. Easy peasy. I also love Gengar's little, like, little dance thing it's got going on where he, like, moves himself back and forth. I love it. Gengar's now a legendary. Because he destroyed all of the ghastly. I don't think legendary means one of, because didn't they, like, have in the anime multiple Lugia? You know, if we go off of the anime. They've had multiple legendaries in, uh, in the games, too, because you can just trade around, like, Zapdoses and stuff. Why am I not... Oh, because I have these guys here. Never noticed. Oh, what the heck, the officer event? Get out of here. That's annoying. Curse you, officer events. Fighting Nene is going to be a little more annoying now, but I have a Gengar. So, we should be good. So, let's knock out Nene, and then I want to take Yaksha, and then I'd like, if I can, I'd like to just get Hanzo to stay in Kragsburg. could be a little annoying, but if worse comes to worse, I can just try and win by getting all the banners. That won't do well for getting recruitments, obviously, but I'll win. Oh no, not ninjutsu! Is he gonna use the Chidori? I can recruit a lot of these guys if I can just get Aksu to them and Dragon Rage them in the first, like, four turns. Nene, if I want to recruit Nene, I need to beat her in, like, three turns with Gengar, and I might be able to do it by going down here now, actually. Uh, it'll be close if I can get Nene recruited, but should be able to. Fingers crossed. That early damage right there with Sandile will really help. I want Venipede to kind of block Krogunk from going to the left, so it has to go towards Gengar. Or it has to go back through the pathway, one or the other. Mine. What is with these guys in their ninjutsu? It's like they're ninja or something. What's the deal? I wish that my Simiseer guy had a, uh, a range boost. Look, at they've all got range boosts except not me. Unfortunate. I need a range boost. Right, this is turn two, right? So I have... That was turn two, so I'm going to have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two... I have to kill them either this turn or next turn. 
to get recruitments based on kills. Whoops. Ah, oh, so close. Do any of you have a range up? Dang it. Alright, so it's all gonna come down to whoever I can kill this next turn is, like, guaranteed recruited. Otherwise, it's all gonna probably be misses. That also means I have to kill Nene in two turns. Oh, you're just out of range. Ah, oh, range up. Thank you. Ninjutsu. Oh, please high roll. High roll or crit? I have the crit up. Please. Oh, high roll. That should recruit her? You're pretty good. Can I see you in new light? I'm pretty sure that's her recruit quote, so we should be good to go. Sandal, get down here and help. You can help with these actives. Oh no, my attack. As long as they're lined up properly, I should be guaranteed two recruits just by using a uh, crack shot dragon rage on this turn. Hopefully. As long as I can get the setup right. Oh yeah, I'll be able to get these two Zubat people. But I think they're the only ones I'm going to be able to get because I have to move, uh... have to move Sims here out of the way. Oh, what the heck? He's over there now. Ooh, wait a minute. I could actually do that. Hold up. You can move three spaces? That's not enough. Well, I may as well do this. That should be another recruit. And then hopefully you can kill this. Really? Really not gonna get a kill unless I get a crit here? Crit! Please! Oh no, wait, no, I don't need to crit you. I just need to kill you with Simis here next turn because I'll get the super effective one. What am I talking about? Uh, I will definitely crack shot here to guarantee this recruitment. Goodbye. And then I can still recruit the Ekans so long as I kill it with Mud Slap. For some reason, I got it in my head that the only thing I could do was kill them in four turns. I completely forgot, like, oh, hey, stupid, you can just do it the normal way, which is super effective hits. So yeah, we'll, we'll be able to recruit most everyone here, if not everyone. That'll be really good. That will be very good indeed. Is my 3DS plugged in? Yes, it is. Okay, good. I was afraid my 3DS might suddenly die. That would be unfortunate. Where the heck are you going? You would get a poison, you coward. No, come back! I need to recruit you. Stop getting poison. Stop it. I do really, really want to recruit these people because, like, the main reason I wanted to do Hanzo's story was to get perfect links on ninja characters because you don't run into them super often. So, like... Are oh, you really gonna live this? Please, Hyrule. That's annoying. But, uh, I really want to get these recruitments so that I can get these people their perfect links. It's, like, the whole reason I'm here. Hi. It doesn't matter if you get this because I still have the one on the far right. And you're nowhere near taking it from me. We should still be good to recruit everyone. Because, like, Sandile isn't going to die anytime soon. It would be really nice if I could, like, weaken this Ekans a little bit. For uh, Sandile to eventually get the kill. What on earth is with this Ekans? I have to make sure I don't accidentally win by taking all the flags before I want to. Alright, that'll recruit you. So that's another one. I forgot you only get 15 turns on this map. You gotta play pretty quick. May as well grab this. And I want you to get over here to this Venipede immediately. You grab that. Alright. Everything's going smooth. 
Why did I stay here just to let the Venipede hit me for no reason? I should have just moved out of the way. Stop hitting my sand dial. Incredibly rude. That only does one damage. Literally pointless on your part, and just incredibly rude. Get intimidated, son. Oops. Alright, yeah, this is gonna take two turns. I kind of expected that, but still mildly annoying. Thank you, accuracy down, as if it matters. Incinerate! Incinerate literally just looks like flamethrower. And then there- oh, wait, 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 I almost screwed it. I don't want to take the last banner yet, because then I'll win. I want to recruit this Ekans first. Then I take the last banner. That was close. I almost ruined that. I mean, it wouldn't have been the worst thing of all time, but definitely would have been a mistake. Yes, yes, I get it, Sandile. You're intimidating. Just kill the Ekans, please. Don't you dare low roll me. Okay, thank you. He's done it. I will take my victory and be on my way then. Thank you. Have I ever gotten Scallopede on anyone? I don't think I've gotten Scallopede yet. I'll definitely need to get on that at some point. But hey, I think we recruited everyone there, which is perfect. I don't even have Crobat yet, but again, that doesn't really matter. Eventually, uh, we'll get Crobat on Nene for sure. I'm gonna drop all you nerds in Avia. We're already down to the last two kingdoms, right? If you didn't evolve the one Okuni has, then probably no on Scolipede. I don't remember if I did or not, to be honest. I might have, but I don't think I did. We can get Scolipede on someone else in a different story. It's not a big deal. Because we're almost to the point now where I don't even have to bother using Warlords in episodes. Like, if I if I start an episode and it's like, okay, I need to get Garchomp and scallopede in this episode, then I can use them in my main team to level them up, because I'll have already evolved all the other warlords, it won't really matter. Alright, yeah, I want to catch Kotaro in Cragspur and leave him there. Really quickly, wrong button. How are we looking on people with and without perfect links? Alright, you need a perfect link, that's good. You do, you do, you do, you do, you do. We got at least, like, five, and that's kind of mostly what I was looking for. I wouldn't mind picking up a few more people that need perfect links. But for now, let's just cycle the month and then focus on Yaksha. Lord Hanzo, it's an elderly gentleman. Oh, the, now people can finally try and attack me. It's one of the things I love most about this episode is you can, like, nearly win the entire game before they're even allowed to move. Alright, so... I mean, let's just take Yaksha and then figure out who needs what. Go. This is gonna be like the first time we're doing a ninja story and I don't immediately just win it. And instead, we're going to stall to get some perfect links. Alright, can't recruit any of these guys. But that's fine. We just want to knock them out as fast as we can. So get in there. your ability to fly to move quicker. That's not fair. How dare you? How dare you? Really not gonna kill, huh? 
You're gonna do me dirty like that? That's one down. Sorry, Shimoyama. Had to happen. Uh, I need a range up, please. Taste my ninjutsu. We'll go up here and kill this one first. Got him. And then I'm just gonna crack shot to kill you immediately, guaranteed. Later, nerd. Never thought I'd be defeated. Well, guess what, nerd? You were defeated. And then, as usual, Venipede is just here doing nothing. Is this friendship ninjutsu or the regular pain kind? Both. Please do not take the Scraggy. Oh my goodness. Why is this game like this? Yeah, birds have one weakness and one weakness only, and it's guns. Mad Doctor speaks the truth. This game hates me, by the way. Literally, any other Pokemon besides the only one that I need to kill would have been great. Thanks, video game. So now, instead of winning this turn, I have to take, like, two more turns. Insanely rude. And it even has 41 HP, so I can't kill it with a single Dragon Rage. Can you believe this? Actually living on one. I am livid. Can this hit? Oh, thank you. Thought it was already established this game doesn't like you too much. No game I play likes me, no matter how much I praise it or criticize it. No matter what, the game will always hate me regardless. There we go. Alright, now I want to check and see uh, what people we have need what links. Lists. Allied warriors. Alright. What are the names? Alright, Ariel. Morikio. What do you need? Let me get my handy dandy... Uh, Whatchamacallit open here? Mori Kyo needs a crow gunk. I'm pretty sure that's we're gonna have to use a password for that if I'm not mistaken. Because we do not have uh I don't think that's one that you can just find. This is Sekuro. He needs a Skarupi, that's really easy. Katsu. Katsu needs. An Aeron? Weird, but okay. I mean, I can make it happen. And then... Chiyome? Chiyome needs Spiritomb. How did... Chat, where do you get Spiritomb in this game? Like, obviously you get it in either Yaksha or Spectra, but is it like a rare encounter, or do they just show up, or what? How does that work? I don't think I've ever seen one in the wild. And then... Hatsumi. Ponyard. Easy. Oh, and also Otsu. I think, th isn't this a drif Drifloon person? It is. Watching Tokyo Mirage Sessions Encore should be fun in January. I cannot wait. All right, so. I've immediately forgotten the names of people. But I know they're all, like, doable. So let me... Who are you people? Okay, Otsu needs the Drift Loom. So I'm gonna have to use a code for that. If you need... Okay, since you need Drift Loom, that's, uh... I'm gonna have to use a code, so I'm just gonna put you in Dragnor to remember who you are. And then you need... Hatsumi. Were you the one that needed Aeron? No, you need Ponyard. Ponyard should spawn here, so I'm just gonna leave you in Valora. And then over here, 
Who is the person? Was it Katsu that needs Aaron? Yeah, it's you. All right, so put you in Valora as well. Move you over there. And then I'm actually gonna look right now and see if they're there. Nope. Oh, that's not gonna, don't do that. You need more people in there to do that. Go ahead and set them to develop. I should have had them developing the whole time somewhere. Avia, info. Spirit 2 is only available on post game in a level 2 place in Spectra. The Spectra Cave or the Yaksha Floating Stone. Okay, that's easy. We can do that. We can get to level 2 cave in Spectra. Uh, Morikio, which one were you? You're Krogunk, so you also need a code. I'm going to put you in Valora then. And then, what do we have left? One of you is Spiritomb, and the other one is something else. Oh, you're already done, so you must be Spiritomb then. No, you're Skroopy. The Spiritomb person must be in my main group, I guess? All right, Skroopy. Gonna want Viperia, probably. Because we don't have Chrysalia to go to. Okay. So now, actually, let's just move this whole group to Viparia. If he takes Avia, oh well. Move this whole group over here and then like dig, because I need some cash. It would also be good to try and recruit a few more people while we're in this episode to just try and get more done. Having more people would be a good help right now. Yeah, and like you guys aren't doing anything. You guys, I may as well set to delegate, to develop. You know what? You may as well just go right back here too to help develop faster. See you later, Alex. Thanks for coming to stream. Glad to have you. Lord Hanzo, someone has come to ask you a favor. Who could it be? Odds of a freaking farmer. I do not... I'm not giving you money. I'm not going to be in this episode long enough to be messing with your tax evasion scams. Alex, thank you for following on your way out. Hope you enjoy any future streams you come to. All right, all right, all right. So now... I mean, what I'd like to do with these guys is recruit more people. There are two people for Drifloon, Asa and O2. Yeah, yeah. But I, I don't think there's a Drifloon code anyways. I'm going to have to, like, generate one because I said I was going to start generating codes. All right, I want to recruit the Spirit Tomb person. Honestly, I probably only need to send you. Also send Riolu guy. Go get it. We go. Because I don't think there's a natural Drifloon code. I'm pretty sure you have to cheat a Drifloon code if you even want one. Just like with Anorith. Alright, I want Hanzo to beat the Spirit Tomb person ASAP and recruit them. I basically just want to recruit as many people as possible while in this episode and get as many perfect links on them as we possibly can. Easy crit. You lived, you coward. Whatever, you're dead next turn. Interference is really annoying, as always. Thank goodness that's not an actual Pokemon ability. recruit you. Ah, dang it, Lone Wolf isn't here today. And I was definitely planning on counting on him to generate codes for me. That could be a little annoying. We'll deal with it. 
Oh, get parried, son. Goodbye, Scraggy. That should give us the recruit. I don't see why it wouldn't. Yeah, nice. Gimme, gimme, gimme. All right, Shizuka. And as expected, you do not have your perfect link, which is exactly what I wanted to see. Exactly what I was hoping for. So I'm actually gonna look up real quick. Shizuka. What on earth? Rhyhorn, Rhydon, and Rhyperior? Why? Well, I'm gonna have to get into Cragspur at some point because of that. But that's fine. We can move him out of Cragspur and get into Cragspur ourselves later. That won't be a problem. 